1 plus the key highs divided by the key lows in the relationship plus how much joy there was in the relationship divided by how much misery there was plus how much you laughed over how often you fought plus the quality of the biggest romantic gesture they ever performed for you multiplied by how reliable they were on a day-to-day -day basis plus how much you liked their people divided by how much your people liked them Help with the show I'm making. That's the subject line from an email I wrote to one of my exes. I have the email here. My name is Haley McGee and I live in London, England. I used to say that I was an actor and writer, but now I just say I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I relocated to the UK at a time before Brexit when it cost 2.2 Canadian dollars per pound uh, and I was burning through my savings and then going into credit card debt. So I ended up in credit card debt and I found myself on the phone with Visa promising that I would pay off my, my debt by having a yard sale. And then I looked around my flat and realized the only things I could actually sell, the only things I own that have monetary value had all been given to me by my different ex-boyfriends. Pretty much I hung up the phone with Visa and I was like, okay, okay, like how should I price these things? How should I price these things? And then I thought, I started thinking about all the emotions and stories associated with the objects. And I started thinking, actually, I think the idea of trying to sell these objects makes a better show. And in fact, would probably earn me more money than if I was to just sell the objects themselves. So I was looking at pricing the objects and I started thinking about the necklace that I have. And in a certain way, I, I suffered a flesh wound for that necklace. I was going to visit the person who ended up giving it to me. I took a bus and on the bus, someone had wedged a scalpel, like a X-Acto knife between the seats on the bus, but I didn't notice it until I moved to get comfortable and the knife sliced through my new jeans, through the flesh of my bum, drawing blood. And I started thinking, well, surely that flesh wound increases the value of the necklace that he then gave me for my birthday. And also he was the first person that I ever slept with, so surely that increases the value. And then I actually reached out to this ex-boyfriend and a whole bunch of my ex-boyfriends and talked to them for research for the show and to get their point of view on these objects. And the guy who gave me the necklace, when I spoke to him, he confessed to me that he has no memory of buying the necklace at all. And so I really felt stumped, like, I don't know, I don't know how these different elements can contribute to a price. And I thought there must be some formula or some algorithm out there that could take into account all the ways I invested or didn't and spit out a price. So I started hunting for a mathematician. Several male mathematicians uh, ghosted me early on. And then like so many, um, great women who appear after a series of men let you down, I found Melanie Francis. We met and immediately she just got it. She just really understood what I was after and we, in our own way, fell in love through this project. I came to her with all of the factors. I have 52 factors or variables in the formula. We had a ton of conversations around essentially my value system, um, which she then translated into numbers. One plus bracket, 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 how much healing there was, plus how much wounding there was in the relationship, plus the significance of the big life lessons learned in the relationship, plus any baggage you left the relationship with, divided by your age at the time of the breakup, plus the nth root of the skills and knowledge acquired in the relationship where n equals your age at the time of 
the breakup multiply by the significance of the rites of passage experienced in the relationship plus the number of good stories you acquired in the relationship um, and how they contributed to your life story divided by the total number of relationships. The big thing I learned from actually crunching the numbers and going through all of this, or the most valuable thing in doing it, is that there is a number at the end of it. I think I went into the show not realizing when I started working on it, but feeling in a pretty um, crummy place where I felt like I'm in credit card debt, my career is not where I want it to be, and I'm disappointed with where I'm at in love. And I was staring at the ledger of my life thinking, I've, I've kind of failed in all these realms and it looks like a big zero. And then through working on the formula, um, it spits out a number that is not zero. And that is, that sheer fact is worth a lot 